Once upon a time, a very wealthy man had the great misfortune to fall out of a plane. As he fell, the wind stripped him of his designer suit, his Italian pattern shoes, crocodile wallet, gold watch, everything. And when he eventually hit the earth, he was all but naked. The strange thing was, when they found his broken body, he was smiling. But that never made any sense to me. to blame. Look at this. Look at it. Phone, gas, electric, all final demands. They're taking the telly back because we haven't paid them. You know, Oprah was my only salvation. All these years, all these years I've wasted on, on mediocrity and look where it's got me. What's it got me? I, I haven't even got a pot to piss in. Yeah, I know how that feels. Yeah, well, that's about to change. I've met someone else. What? Someone who can take proper care of me. Just say something to me. What do you want me to say? I mean, anything. I mean, that dress is a bit short, isn't it? <laughs> Don't do that. There you go. Get yourself down the pawn shop, eh? Go and buy yourself a consolation beer. Or better still, get yourself a new suit, eh? Nice. What was I thinking, an insurance salesman? I'm, I'm a loss adjuster, Henge. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll deal with this loss. And I won't be needing these anymore, either. Open the damn door. Edge, Edge. Hey, Edge, Edge, Edge. Hey, 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 it's me. It's still me, Edge. Hello, Polly. Hello, Mr. Dyer. You're hard to get hold of this morning. Hope you aren't avoiding me. <laughs> anyway, I've got you now, and it's a busy day ahead for you. Yeah. 
Poldy, I'm sorry, I don't think I can do this. Oh, one moment, I've got multiple calls coming through. Good morning, Lipton Milgrove, Polly speaking. Could you hold the line, please? Sorry about that. Right, so your first appointment is scheduled with Mrs. Rogerton Sykes. She's at 9.15. Quite close to you, actually. High gate, a burglary, nice and simple. Please verify on everything, but she's since added a few more items. No, no. Next up is Mr. Gimple in Totteridge. Someone has chopped down his prize rhododendrons that he was planning to enter into the Chelsea Flower Show next year. So you'll need to establish the size of the plants before we can entertain the size of the claims. Bit tricky, that one, but I'm sure you'll manage. And um, next, Mr. and Mrs. Smallwood in Finchley. A house fire claiming for absolutely everything, so... Police, stop. No, wait. Forget the small words. Fire services haven't filed their report yet. Oh, and Police, your stop. favourite, dear old Dr. Wicksteed. Can you believe the lodgers flooded the bathroom through the ceiling again? Polly, my wife left me today. <laughs> oh, and he's absolutely adamant that he won't see anyone else apart from you. I mean, it's not surprising, really. You don't get voted the company's number one loss adjuster. Three years running without being the best. Uh, yes, OK. Okay. Just email the details to me and I'll... Yeah, already done, Mr. Dyer. Sent to you last night. You have a lovely day and be sure to give my best to Mrs. Dyer, OK? Yes, I'll be sure to tell her. Bye-bye. Christmas. It would have been cheaper to stay in bed. Yes, hello, this is Mr. Dyer from Mrs. Rogers and Sykes. Hello there, Mrs. Rogers and Sykes. Mr. Dyer, you are late. Yes, I know the traffic was. Yes, scary. the traffic usually is. That's entirely predictable and should be planned for, don't you think? Yes, absolutely. I apologize. You have a lovely home. This way. Do you take tea? I have Lapsang Souchong or Earl Grey. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, may maybe a, a coffee. Would be <laughs> coffee? <nice. laughs> I'm afraid we don't take coffee. Not to, not to worry. Shall we get on with it? OK, yes, of course.
So, uh, Mrs. Rogerson Sykes, I see, uh, in addition to the item listed in the police report, I see that you've um, noted a few extra missing items. Missy, are you suggesting they might actually not be missing? Oh, my goodness, no. I <laughs> Mr. Dyer, do I look like I need to defraud an insurance claim? No, no, I, I, but you... Mr. Dyer, this has been the most terrible shock. An absolute violation. I, I, I think that I listed everything correctly, but in my distressed state, maybe I... It was obviously an oversight. I, uh, I am the victim, after okay. all. Of course you are. I, I, this is really just a formality, and it's a question I have to, to ask, unfortunately. I should have insured with legal in general. My late husband always said that we should. As usual, he was right. I was a sanctimonious bastard. They wouldn't have treated me like a fraudster. I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. I really am. Was it recent? Mm, not that long ago. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd have thought he planned the whole thing, and now he just leaves me alone in my prime. Well, well no, I'm um, cool. I, I doubt that. I mean, a charming figure of a woman like you. Oh, you really think so? Have you experienced loss, Mr. Dyer? Well, actually, I have very recently. Well, this morning, my wife, she left, left me. Oh, no. Oh, what a terrible shock. And right before Christmas, oh, you must be in pieces. Uh, let me get you a whiskey. Oh, no, uh, w no thank you. I, I um, driving and everything. Um... Come. Yeah, right. OK. Um... Did you love her madly? Uh, yeah, yes, I suppose I did. Well, of course you did. And so here we both are, lonely, abandoned, lost. There's only one cure for a fall, Martin. Uh, uh, can I call you Martin? Yes, of course, please do. Get back on the horse. Mm. You know, my, my husband wasn't very tactile man and he always made me feel lonely even when we were married how do you mean he never made me feel like a real woman i'm sure you're you you are extremely special to your husband mrs Rogers. please call me margaret okay margaret mm -hmm. uh yes well margaret we um I believe we can approve all of the uh, mi missing items on, on your list, and uh, I really think there's no need to make you suffer any more than you already have. I, I think it's a very unfortunate burglary, if I'm honest with you. Oh, I don't mind going through the details again with you. I, I really don't. And um, if you like, I can, I can find some coffee for you in one of the cupboards. I'm sure the cooks left something there. You, you've, you've gone to so much trouble for me today, really. I... Thank you, Martin. You, you're, so, you're so kind. They said you were. They did. Yes, they said that you were kind and, and compassionate and that you only cared for others. Well, thank you, Margaret. I, I do try my best. You know, Martin, it's only when you've lost everything that you realize what you're really missing. Um... Well, what about you stay for a spot of lunch? I could get Cook to to some oysters. I'm sure you know about oysters, Yes, uh, Yes, of course. That's a lovely offer, um, Margaret. Uh, I really do have to get going, though. It's uh, getting late. Well, another time, then. Um, maybe we could go shopping. Shopping? Yes. You could accompany me to the Ivy after I bought you a new suit. Just a little Christmas gift from me. Just coffee, actually. Oh, yeah, that's OK. Look, I realize you're very busy. But I really would like it. Yes. And um, I really would like if yes. you could um, call me sometime. Yes, of course. Would you? Yes. Oh, Martin. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's the European way. That's very charming. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. Thank you.
Mr. Dyer? Miss Rogers and Sites has just been on the phone. Apparently, there's a few items she forgot about and wondered if you could pop back later. No, it's OK. Po Polly, it's OK. Whatever she puts on the list, please, just, just approve it. It's OK. OK, if you're sure. I'm more than OK. No need for me to go back again. Right. OK, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Martin, Martin, my name. Mr. Dyer, Mr. Dyer, Mr. Dyer. So the news, my local news, is that somebody near me has won the lotto ticket. So if you live in Highgate or Totteridge, please check your tickets. Uh, Timely Quid, Emma, did you check yours? I didn't even enter it, Danny. Polly, could I, I, I actually, I need to ask you a question. Yes, Mr. Dyer. Actually, not a work-related question. Do you think there's something wrong with my suit? Polly? Uh, sorry, I, I have another call. I have to go. How about this one? Oh, I like that. That's lovely. Thank you. I think she would like this. She's a lucky lady. Well, I think I'm the lucky one, actually. So how many? How many years have you been married? Oh, sorry. Oh, five. five. Five years. Congratulations. Thank you. You think she would like this? Oh, of course. All women love flowers. You know, it's lovely here. I can't imagine you'd ever get bored of it. No. Never. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Enter your pin, please. Um. That's strange. It's, it's a new card. I don't understand. Is it a joint account? Could your wife have a little surprise for you, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Dyer? Oh, hello. M Mr. Gimpo, nice to see you today. Call me Gimp. Gimp. Everyone else does. Follow me, lad. Follow me. Know much about flowers, do you, Dyer? Well, no, no, not, not really, Mr. Gimp. It's... Uh, I, oh, yeah, but I do know what a rose looks like. I thought as much. Not that it matters. I'll show you what's happened. You'll get an idea. Oh, dear. Sorry, I thought you'd be more prepared. Otherwise, I'd have found you some wellies. You see these specimens here? Oh, yes. They're very nice, Mr. Gimp. No. Dyer. They are nothing compared to my rhododendrons. The bastards knew I would win, of course. Bastards. Next May's flower show, Dyer. They cut down what was to be my prize exhibits. Really don't know what to say, Mr. Gimp. No, there's nothing you can say, really. Well, I, I would imagine, of course, that the priority here is to establish exactly what these rhododendrons are worth to you. Mr. Mr. Gimp. Nothing that money can replace. Their beauty was priceless. The color, the shape, the very touch. You zip me up, darling.
it's not just the prestige, you know, the honor of receiving an award. Of course, Mr. Gimp. Dyer, these were a hybrid, you see. A complete one-off. I'd spent years perfecting the species. A new species? Oh, my. This, this, this must be akin to losing a child. Well, I guess it's similar, as in as fact as you, you feed it, you water it, mm. you shower it with love and attention, you cherish it, you protect it, and then some bastard runs off with it. I know exactly what you mean. My God, you, you've lost a child? Oh, no, Mr. Gimp. But somebody did nick my wife. Martin, thank you so much for coming out. Do come in. Good to see you again. Lovely to see you. Come in. I come think in. you have something. Oh, please. Just bills and nothing of importance. Come in, come in. Welcome, welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry to ask this question. What's that awful smell? A, r a rat. A rat where? Mm. A dead one. Under there, judging from the concentrated potency. Oh dear, have you called anyone? Environmental health. They can't get anyone round till Monday. But this smell is intolerable, so I have to get the little devil out myself. Oh, please, you... Norman, let me help you. We... Oh, look at this. It's a very bit of pause. Yes. Oh. Okay, come on. Let me help you. Uh, I'm going to need a, a flat head screwdriver and a, a hammer if you have. Um, the toolbox is there. Oh. Um, are you sure about this, Martin? Well, as long as he's dead. <laughs> yes. Oh, also, do you have any plastic bags? Yes, yes, I do. The twins save them for me. It's part of their green intentions. But uh, they never remember to reuse them. <laughs> I have a drawer full. Oh, thank you. Would you like a pig? I'm OK. Yeah, I think the plastic bags are fine. <clears throat> Uh, can I do anything to help? Ooh, one of your lovely coffees would be great. Right, I'm way ahead of you. The coffee's already made. Taps off, I don't know. Uh, How many times has it been now, Norman? Oh, a fair few. I'm sorry, Martin. I hadn't meant to be a burden to you. Norman, please don't say such a thing. I have to be honest with you. If they didn't flood you out every few months, I think I might be disappointed. Really? <laughs> well, to be honest, I kind of abuse us as old friends, you and me. You mean you don't go rat catching for all your clients? Come on, let's straighten out your <laughs> living room. We've got to sort your plane out. We got him. 
Oh. Hmm? Sing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still stinks. Mm. Good coffee. So, Martin, something's troubling you. I'm here to look after you. Of course. But you are troubled. I can tell. It's good to talk, you know. I used to tell that to my patients. Did it help? No, nah, not really. But I got a few extra Christmas cards. No, there's a bonus. Life is short. Yet we spend nearly all of our time pretending that we're fine when we're anything but. It cannot have escaped your attention that I'm of an age that defies much more longevity. Stop that, Norman. You're fighting fit and raring to go. Fighting fit? <laughs> raring to go. <laughs> raring to go. I suppose I am. Norman, is everything, is everything OK? I never had children, you know. I, I'm confused. What, what about the twins? Oh, they're not mine. No, their mum was my patient. I've known them since they were babies. They're very sweet. <laughs> they uh, do some shopping and laundry for me. Uh, oh. No, my late wife couldn't conceive. Oh. <clears throat> and after she went back in the 70s, I fell in love with the freedom that comes with the bachelor life. <laughs> wow, 70s. Uh, she must have been so young. Sorry, no, she didn't die. No, she buggered off with the neighbor. Oh dear. Must be catching. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's his wife troubles. Yes. No, I'm sorry to say this. My my wife left me this morning, Norman. Oh, Martin. I'm so sorry. It's funny, you know. It's been a long time coming. And I'm 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 sure I would have seen the signs if I'd have just been looking. You do you do love me, don't you, Hayden? Yes, my love. Why'd you have to go for so long? Queensland's a long while, I babe. 24 hours traveling, the and back, plus two days to recuperate. That brings the month down to 24 days. That's barely three weeks to finish the legals. And I don't work weekends, so that's really only 15 days. I have to close a joint bank account. that would be at least three days. Three? Well, there's a process. Got to get appointments with the managers which will give me 12 days. Then I'll have to pay off the joint bills, terminate the lecky and gas accounts. Another two days, so 10 left. Can't go halfway around the world without visiting mum and dad for a couple of days. Then my sister, and she ain't close. You any idea how big Oz is? Two days driving there and back, plus a day with her at least. That'd give me, um... Five. Five days left. Yeah, right. Five days in which to sell my car, pack up my life, and move the other side of the world. No biggie, right? OK. It's just because I want you back here with me as soon as possible, that's all. Well, be patient. In a month, I'll be free to be with you. I'm sorry. I understand. I'm just, why don't you come back to bed? 
I have a park to run. Well, can't Rob manage by himself for once? Rob? He's only a barman. Well, so how's he going to manage then when the landlord's away? Well, maybe he won't. And then I'll have no business to come back to. Did you sort out the money? Yeah, transferred it yesterday. Should be in by Friday. It is going to be enough, isn't it? Because I'm not sure I can get my hands on any more. Yes, my love. Thank you. Hold on, babe. Slip out the back door, will you? We don't want to attract attention, eh? I'm so sorry. Where's she gone? I don't know, Norman. To be honest with you, it could be a number of men. I see. Money is the issue? <sighs> I really don't want to bore you with my financial difficulties, Norman. But my wife, she wants a better life. The life of Riley. I see. And don't we all? <laughs> but payback comes to Riley in the end, one way or another. What do you mean? Uh, what goes around comes around. Look at it positively. She can't nag about your suit or tell you to shave your beard or throw out your beer cans. The glass is always half full, Martin. Being a single man can be liberating. I've never been. You, you, you mentioned my suit. I was being metaphorical. Martin, I think you are truly rather remarkable. You really must learn to appreciate the value of your virtue. But you're too modest by far, which in itself is another of your virtues. Martin, I wish I'd had a son. It's my greatest regret, but you have made me realize that if I had had a son, I would like him to have been just like... <laughs> Norman. 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 Hey. Hello. I'm friends with Norman. I can help. Who are you? Sorry, um, I know Norman. Oh, you know him. What, what is this? I'm here to help him clean up. <sighs> uh, okay, yes, come in. So, uh, how can I help you? That's a nice tie. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, you can't just barge in here. Christ, that is a terrible stink. Is that the rat? Oh, yes, it is, actually. But, uh, hang on, how, how do you know about that? Oh, look, please don't touch him. He's not well. You can say that again. Is he okay? Of course he's not okay. He's brown bread. Oh, goodness me. This day's really turning out to be the most awful day. Yeah, I don't think his is turning out too great either. Excuse me. What are you doing? Oh, it's not like he needs it anymore. I think you shoved your missus under the floorboards if what? I didn't know any better. What? Wait, what? Do you want another coffee? You look like you need it. Well, well, no, thank you, actually. I, I'd, I'd rather have something stronger. It's a good idea. Oh, screw it. No thanks. 
put you should. I said it was a good idea, but I don't drink. Put on. Right, come on, mate, get a grip. He's just another client to you. No, he's not. He's a lovely, lovely old man. He was. Okay, fair enough, he was. And who are you? You know, the bloody tenant, are you? Uh, what? Uh, no. The bed sits empty. Uh, I don't understand. That doesn't make sense because I'm here because of this. It's just happened. I'm the loss adjuster. I know who you are, but the place is empty. Trust me, I know these things. I'm the Hoover man. Hoover man? What does that mean? I keep the place clean. You get me? No. OK, ambulance. If you think that's wise. Well, why is that? Who is that? How the hell should I know? Go and see. Well, what about Norman? I'm sure you won't mind. I don't mean like that. What do we, what do we say about him? Uh, it doesn't matter what you say about him, because no one's ever going to know I was here. And I ain't got prints all over the gaff, unlike some. What are you trying to suggest? Well, from the way I see it, you've came in, upended his floorboards, moved his furniture around, and last thing I seen, you were giving the old bloke a hug. Now he's out. And your DNA is everywhere, mate. It just came over. Oh, well, from where I'm standing, it doesn't quite look like that. Steed, honey! Mama's here. Your boy. <laughs> your boy's got a dart. <laughs> Tell her he's sleeping. Just get rid of her. Sleeping? Yeah. Okay, that works. That's good. Stay here. Hello there. Hello there, lover. Hello. He didn't say there'd be three of us today. Three of us? But I'm fine with three. All right, three. Especially if the third one's as cute as you. Uh, hello, madam. You are. Uh... Mm. Yeah. I'm Purdy. Hello, Purdy. And he's my steed. Oh, steed. Get it? Steed. <laughs> Excuse me, madam, madam. <laughs> oh, my baby's sleeping. Oh. oh, it's not very warm. Oh, poor oh, darling. Why in the hell's name is that smell? Oh, it's a, it's a rat. It's a oh. dead rat. Does it smell that bad upstairs? Well, actually, I don't think it does, actually. Well, thank the Lord! It doesn't exactly whet my appetite, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. Get my steady a blanket mm. and join me upstairs. Mm. Uh, I'm very purdy, I must tell you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm... Shy, honey? Well, well yes, yeah, I am a little bit, actually, but I'm just a loss of just a... Role play? Oh. Whatever you want, honey. Oh. Yowza! <laughs> Oh, dear. What was that? <laughs> what that was, Martin, is the funniest thing I have ever seen. Uh, how do you know my name? Now, you tell me who you are and what you're doing here right now. Yeah, all right. Keep your hair on. Oh, dear. That smell of that thing. Uncle Norman, it's us, Georgie and Mimi. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, the twins. Uh, we asked first. Oh, yes, 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 right. I am my Martin. Oh, you're Martin? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. You look awful, doesn't he, Georgie? <laughs> and he smells funny, too. Well, I, don't, I don't really smell. It's something... It, uh... I'm sure you know what everything is. We don't... <sighs> you... Don't even think about it. Get back in. Oh, you again. 
Didn't your mama teach you any manners? How about you try knocking? Think you do enough knocking for all of us? That's very rude, young lady. You can put them away and then you can scram. I thought she only came on Thursdays. And Mondays, honey. Where's Uncle Norman? He owes us 20 quid. For a service wash? That's robbery. Yeah, well, not all of us earn our money lying down. Some of us actually graft for our money. Young lady, I never... Save it. We really don't want to know. Our mum says she was strumpet. <laughs> <laughs> One thing. Could you find a new body lotion? It's a nightmare to get off the sheets. Brats. Tart. How are you? Uncle Norman owes us 20 quid. You know where he is? Uh, uh, he's actually sleeping right now. Sleeping? Where? Oh, he's on the sofa, just resting. Can you wake him up? He's got an aerobic session with Holly Go Lightly upstairs, and she's getting cranky. Well, I'm sure. Um, I really don't think he's going to be up for that today, if I'm honest, but you know what? I can pay you the 20 pounds. Oh, uh, that's 20 each. Each? Yeah. One second. Oh, you are. Oh, what is that stink? Actually, it's not me, actually. It's, uh, it's a rat, a dead one. Oh, it was bad. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, well, you really don't want to see it. It's dead and it's in a bag. It's horrible. You touched it. Bloody disgusting. Just like your language, young lady. And in front of Norman. I thought he was sleeping. Well, well yes, he is sleeping. Well, he can't hear us then, can he? Yeah, have a lovely day. Goodbye. <sighs> Sucker. One born every minute. <laughs> Okay, I need to get going. You're not going anywhere. Not until you explain to me what's going on here. I tell you, stop gripping my Ralphie. You what? My hoodie. It's Ralph Lauren. I like nice clothes. It looks pretty expensive for a kid like you. Thanks for the job. Oh, yes, that's right. A Hoover man. So how do you know me? You know, more importantly, how do they know me? Norman was pretty fond of you. That's probably how they know you. Me, I know you're Angie. I've never actually met you, though. What did you say? Uh, Angie? You, you mean my, my wife, Angie? Yeah. She's shacked up with my dad now. You really ain't got a clue, huh? No, I don't. But that might have something to do with the fact of the day I had before I even got here. And I lost a very dear friend today. On top of that, I just found out that my... my wife... my wife is playing housey with you, old man. You really think I don't know that this suit might not be the height of fashion? It's truth time. What is your name? Sam. Okay, Sam. Start talking. Okay. Do you remember when Angie ran up those massive credit card bills? Potential. I don't understand, Angie. I mean, it's a brand new car. I'm confused. How, how can we be maxed out already? Just, just not, not Martin. I didn't, I didn't realize. It's five grand, Angie. Look, I'm sorry. Just, uh, it, you know, it adds up sometimes. You know, another one. Hey, Rob. Rob. 
Yeah, give us a minute. I'm busy. All right, another one for hands when you get a second and a pint for me. Thanks. What's this other guy? Rob, well, what's the name of that other guy that works here? Ida. That's his name, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's back in Australia, man. Australia? What's he doing there? He got deported. Oh. <coughs> yeah, his visa ran out. <coughs> Good riddance to him, I say. <coughs> Lazy, flipping chigolo. Oh, good, it's all right, darling. <coughs> Sorry, Rob, are you OK? Uh, yeah. 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 He said he'd love me. Bastard. Oh, darling. Bastard. Promised me we'd set up home together. They told me he owned the place. Set up home? Really? The bastard. He lied to me, Angie. He was never coming back. It was only the bloody barman. Never. Complete bastard. He stole ten grand from me. Ten? Absolute bastards. All of them. I just don't know I'm gonna replace it. Maxed out an army of the credit cards. Babe, what? Just how many cards do you have? <sighs> oh, you need help. You need, like, uh, one of those fixer what? people. What? But they're not a loan shark. No, 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 nothing like that. Um... I can personally recommend him. We went on a very hot date last week. Did you? Yeah. He'll sort it. That's what he does. Look, Lee has got a very personal touch. I gave him nine out of ten. Oh, only nine? Well, I'm never going to give a score of ten, darling. Lee? <laughs> Hello, darling. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. Yeah, she's gorgeous. No, I haven't, but I can take a selfie of us. No. Oh, oh, sorry, Lee, she's just gone the bog. Oh, um, I mean, she's just gone the loo. Uh, when she comes back, yeah? Yes, so, yes, her name's Angie, and uh, I'm sure you're gonna like her. Known her for ages. Tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, yeah, that's great. OK, good luck to the both of you, all right? Sorted. <laughs> Came to my dad to help pay them off. I don't understand how... How, how did she arrange to pay him back? It's private. Because she didn't have regular income, he had to come to another arrangement. You were the inspiration. I will tell. I'll tell you. The suspense is killing me, Sam. So, ten grand, and you need it straight away? Ideally, yeah. What'd you do? Spend your old man's money? Something like that. <laughs> You're a bad girl. Look, Angie, uh, I'd love to lend you the money. Of course I would. But um, the big question is, is, will you be able to pay me back? You know, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but... But I have a soft spot for bad girls. Especially ones as lovely as you. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. OK. So, does that mean you think you can help me, Mr Lester? Why don't you call me Lee? You know, I think we could work quite nicely together. Your old man, the loss adjuster, it could prove to be quite useful in our little business venture. You should have the email. The burglary's upset 
and rather profoundly, Mr. Dyer, and the Hendersons are very long-standing and important clients, and I promised we would send over our best man. He's really given me a hard time. Please, please, could you just squeeze them in? Yeah, Polly, I've got the email here. Don't worry about it, I'll sort it out. Leave it with me. OK, bye-bye. Oh, thank you. That's Polly. Uh, another burglary. Yeah. To get ready for home. Oh. Mm. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> okay. I'll be back at six. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, darling, it's me. Edge. Yeah, I've got another one for you. Oh, yeah. All right, look, I'll tell you what, why don't you come over here and take it from there? Yeah. Good. All right, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Sounds like Edge is coming good. Nice. Well, nobody ever gets everything. They don't have enough time, or they miss something. Miss something? What do you mean? A piece of jewellery, or a piece of art. Or a painting. Right. Get in and out like a ghost, quick as you can. OK, go on in. Sorted. Sorted. Good boy. I know people like the Hendersons are properly insured. Mm. Because you were called in. So they get paid, and you gets to pay down a loan. 
I get a bit. Everyone's happy. Are you sure about that? Right. It was over here. Mr. Dyer, in your own time, I don't know how I actually didn't notice it, Mr. Dyer. Oh, for goodness sake. It's been in my family for generations. Of course, I understand, Mr. Henderson. It's extremely unfortunate. I'll be sure. Unfortunate? It's a downright bloody disgrace. Bastards. Bastards. Don't you know, this is the second time I've been burgled in 12 months. I mean, what did the police actually do? I'll tell you. Stopping motorists and not catching drug addicts. Oh, yes, I, I do. Drug addicts, yes. Yes, I, I do agree with you, Mr. Henderson. Do you? Do you really? I don't think you actually do. <clears throat> so how much hoovering have you done, sir? Who might you be? Uh, Actually, he's just a hoover man. Norman never said they'd be free of you. And anyway, you look way too young for me, honey. Cleaner or not? No, uh, oh, actually, Miss Purdy, he's just... Virgin! I can be gentle too, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, my days, I can't stand the smell in here. Stinks. <laughs> Gosh, I need some air. Tell me you haven't been robbing from poor Norman. What? No. How, how could you think that? Because you're dressed for a robbery, Sam. Yeah, I saw you pull out a rise. It seemed reasonable. So what are you doing here? Oh, I, I promised Norman I wouldn't tell you. I don't think he'll hear us anymore, do you? I guess. A promise is a promise. Now, go have a look. Go on. It's the nurse. Hello, uh, Dr. Wicksteed is expecting me. A nurse? Yes, I have an appointment. He didn't mention no medical fetish. And I just don't do girl on girl. Uh, sorry, I, I think there's been some confusion. I... Look at you. Couldn't you make more effort? Heels, stockings. Damn liberty. I've had enough. Um, sorry, I've... I can't just leave. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, please, come in, come in and, and, and do excuse the smell. Oh, what's causing it? Oh, decaying flesh, I'd imagine. Oh, my God. When did it happen? Oh, I don't know exactly, but it's good. We've wrapped it up in plastic bags and it's ready to throw out, so it's fine. Sorry, I need to do an examination. What, what, what do you need to do that? Uh, uh, hold on. You're going to have to pay me, because I'm not waiting here any longer. And if my steedy's decided to get himself a new playmate... No, he's... Uh, then you're going to have to compensate me. How much? Just a hundred to you, sweetheart. Give my best to Steedy, won't you, for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, and keep that cute little virgin boy till next time, won't you? Thank you, Miss Purdy. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless you, Dr. Wicksteed. This one's so silly. I thought you were talking about a rat. Well, we just removed a rat from under the floorboards. 
I'm so sorry for your loss. And that I didn't get here sooner. I, I would. You weren't expecting it to be so sudden. Well, I wasn't really expecting it at all. He didn't tell you. I'm so sorry. Tell me what. It was only a matter of days. He insisted he remained at home. You mean he knew he was dying? Yes. You're Martin, aren't you? Y yes, yes, I am. He said he wanted to see you before he passed. I'm so glad that he did. So am I. Thank you. Bless you, Norman. I'm so sorry you've been called out unnecessarily. The coroner's on his way now, so I think he was just panicking. He didn't know what to do. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, you. We don't take dead bodies. What? You don't take what? Uh, Martin, it's all right. The coroner's on his way. Okay. Please don't worry about anything. Dr. Wicksteed made sure that all the arrangements were in place. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. That's very reassuring. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Shit. Looks like you need a new car, mate. I need a new everything, Sam. So. <laughs> right, come on. Have you change it for the spare? Oh, I don't have a spare. I guess it's a bus for you, then. Yes. Uh, Sam, I really don't mean to pry, but you really haven't told me anything. Yeah, I know. I promised Norman. Yes. Yes, I know you said that. And, 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 you know, I really do respect that, but I just want some closure, you know, maybe some understanding, if that makes sense. I see why Norman liked you. You, you do? I do understand. Promise is a promise. But Norman meant so much to me. What kind of work did you do for him? I know this might come as a bit of a surprise to you, Martin. But our dear old Norman, he wasn't quite what he appeared to be. What do you mean? Look, I've got to go. I'll catch up with what you later. What do you mean? Sa Sam? Sam? Come on. Get it. What's in the bag, mate? You want a lottery, eh? Where are you going? No, 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 no. What's in the bag? Home. No, nothing's in the bag. Do you know him? Sam, what's in the bag? Do you want a lotto or something? Nothing's in the bag. Don't look like nothing to me. Nothing. What's in the I'm bag? Uh, hey, come on. I'm just, I'm going, I'm trying to go home. That's all I'm doing. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Take it, if I can go home. Yeah? Just take it. Shut up! Okay. Bye. Kinky. <laughs> so what is that? God only knows. But if it's wrapped up this good, it must be pretty special. Oh, jeez, man. What's that stink? Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oi! I'll explain. Please, close the door. Close the door. Hey, you seen a bloke in a shitty grey suit? Oh, oh, I don't think so. No, sorry. It's all over me hands.
Hello? Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Thank you so much. Yes, sir. It's very kind of you. Well, you're welcome, Martin. We know each other. Yes. You bought some flowers for me a while back. For your anniversary. I'm Emmeline. Well, you have a very, very good memory, Emmeline. You're such a lovely name. Thank you. <laughs> I remember now. The declined credit card. Yeah. Oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> so was I right? Did your wife have a little surprise for you? Oh, yes. Uh, quite, quite, quite a big one. That's nice. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, you must think I'm crazy. I'm so sorry. I've had, had a bit of a day. Um, this is so sweet of you. What do I owe you for this? Oh, no, it's, it's my treat for locking you in the black hole. <laughs> oh, well, actually, I'm kind of glad you did. <laughs> Should I hold this for you? Uh, why were they chasing you? Well, it was kind of a strange story. I, I gave them a dead rat in a bag. <laughs> I know. <laughs> True story. I, I'm gonna, I'll explain, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you... Well, it looks like something stronger is in order. Can I buy you a drink? Be spontaneous. There is no dress rehearsal in life. This is it. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, of course. Your wife will be expecting you. And... Oh, no, no, no. She's actually not expecting me at all. Look, to be honest, I, I really just don't think I'll be very good company this evening. That's all. Of course. Yeah, I understand. Another time, maybe? Sure. You know where I am. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, do you need any help? Oh, uh, don't. <laughs> Good night, Emily. Good night, Martin. Change a bit. Oh, change, change. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I don't, actually don't have any change, but I would give it yeah, to you. Yeah, right. What, well, just a wallet full of notes? Have a great day. What? What are you talking about? I mean, I mean, what use would I have for my own money, huh? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sick of it. Hey, thanks. We didn't have to be so snarky about it. It's only Christmas. Snarky? What the? F no, I was being snarky. Yeah, you were. We're homeless. We've got nothing. Well, you want me to treat you like God Almighty because you dropped me a few quid? It's not a few quid! It's all I've got left! You hear me? Everything! What are you talking about? That's all I had! Calm down, mate. Briefcase, suit. What, are you an accountant or something? Oh, of course, of course. I didn't please you, sir. I didn't please you. I wasn't generous enough, was I? Huh? Take the bloody suit. I don't want it. I'm sick of it. Well, I don't want it either. What do you mean you don't want it? It's not exactly well tailored, does it? And anyway, it's no use without the trousers. I don't believe this. Such wisdom. Such wisdom. No suit without trousers. How bloody wise of you. Here. Here, you know what? Here, take them. Take them, I don't need it. Yeah. I have my bloody shoes. And I've got a good idea what you're going to ask for next. Do you want the shirt off my back, huh? How's that? That's what everyone does to me. Ah, huh, here we go. How do you like this one? How's this suit you? You think that's nice? Huh? You like this one? Here we go. Here you go. Uh, you like that? Here, take the bloody thing. Anything else I can do for you? Happy Christmas. It's got no buttons on it now.
Sorry, Governor. Once upon a time, a very wealthy man had the great misfortune to fall out of a plane. As he fell, the wind stripped him of his designer suit. His Italian patent shoes, crocodile wallet, gold watch, everything. And when he eventually hit the earth, he was all but naked. Pawning or you selling? I'm I'm selling. Well, you know what they say. There's plenty of fish in the sea. If you fancy a swim, let me know. Tell me about Norman. What kind of work you did for him? I can't wait until he's buried. No. Because I think now he might appreciate you telling me the truth, Sam. They were onto him. Who? Everyone. Why? He had fake patients on his books. What? Patients. No, I know what you mean. No, you don't know what I mean. They were literally ghosts. Come in. And uh, very kind. I take it I'm finished? Yes, that's your lot for today, Doctor. Well, you get yourself off home now, then. Don't work too late. Good night, Anna.
Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good afternoon. Oh, I didn't know you was a real vicar. Uh, good afternoon. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Uh, nice to see you. Good afternoon. Uh, you're in church, and you got no shame. You need to put those creased-up bats away. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Dum dum and doo doo. Whatever. Why would he do that? Suppose he wanted to help people. I I'm lost, Sam. Have you heard of the postcode lottery? Mm hmm. Ah. Different people were eligible for different levels of care depending on where they live. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. Well, Norman would write prescriptions for dead patients in order to give medicines to patients who weren't eligible for them. I'd pick up the prescriptions and drop them off. Hey, that means you knew about Norma's condition. What? No. Look, I was just skint. And when I talked to offers you some pocket money, you don't just assume he's bent. Sam, didn't you consider getting a proper job, Sam? I can't. Why? Because I'm still in school. What? Jesus. <coughs> um. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you as we gather in united grief to mourn the loss and celebrate the life of Dr. Norman Wigstein. So you knew what Norman was up to? No, I just thought he was a doctor. It's fraud, Sam. I know. They caught him. Who? Some tosses shocked him. A lot of the letters you picked up in his house. Yeah, I saw them. A lot of them were bills, but I guess why well, pay them when you know you when when you know you're gonna die. But some of them. Some of them were from lawyers. The doctors were taking legal action. It cost the government a small fortune. They wanted it back. He believed that his particular talents oh, were best served in the care of people and the healing of the sick. He enrolled in medical school. His heart was in the right place, wasn't it, Sam? In the 90s. <laughs> what is what? His practice. Yeah. But, like the rest of <laughs> his health declined in later years. <laughs> but he never Makes lost sense, a but in... passion instead of the body. One of the hardest I things about life. From an anonymous author, I believe. Maybe okay. Which best sums up normal. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.
okay. It's what I like, was Norman. No people paying their respects. He must have helped a lot of people. I'm sure he did. <laughs> they were gonna take everything, seize it all and sell it. That's what they do these days, right? Come. What are they gonna do, take his house, his car? No, not his car. Why not? He transferred it to me. He arranged for the papers, the logbook and the keys to be posted to me. At first I thought it was a joke, but I saw the previous owner was Norman. It all made sense. He didn't tell you? Oh. Well, oh, he was. Really nice thing to do. Yes, it was. <sighs> Just need to pass my test now. <laughs> That's the easy part. Oh. This was in the glove box. Strict instructions to give it to you. I'm Norman. Yeah. That's it. Oh, and also, all the claims on the house. You faked those. Like I said, there was no one living upstairs. It's just him. Just alone, huh? That's his heart. I never, I never checked. I just thought he was telling me the truth. Yeah. It was a really lonely, but very, very kind old man. Yes, he was. You're not going to the way? <laughs> no. It's not really my thing. It's not mine either, Sam. I'll see you. You know, there's only one cure for a fall, Martin. Get back on the horse. Mm. You really should learn to appreciate the value of your virtues. Be spontaneous. There is no dress rehearsal in life. This is it. It's a lot more fun being this side of the door than it is over there. Hey, you look very smart. I hardly recognised you. <laughs> it is either a wedding or a funeral. Well, unfortunately, it's a... Uh... Oh, it's a funeral. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's OK. Is there anything that I can do? Well, I need a drink. And I, I thought it would be lovely, if, if you have time, of course, to, to join you. Well, I am only buying if you promise not to kick it over. Sounds fair. <laughs> but I think I owe you. Come on. How are you? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Um, what would you like? Surprise me. 
In that case, I think uh, a bottle of champagne. Champagne? Yeah, sure. Uh, Thanks. Wow. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. No, I, I thought it would be fun. Yeah, um, will you excuse me a moment? Sure, I'll be outside. Oh, I'll bring it outside your table, if you like. Thank you, sir. It's very nice of you. You've got your hair down. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful evening, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hmm. What's wrong? That thing. Actually, everything. But right now, nothing. Do you mind me asking who died? He was a client. A actually, he was a, a dear friend. His name is Norman. I'm so sorry. Thank you. He was very sick. I just... I didn't know. He never told me. To new beginnings. Yeah, absolutely. You know, my life has been pretty terrible for some time now. The day that Norman died was a crazy day, probably, if, if not the worst day of my life. And then... You know, you, you saved me. <laughs> and I'd been thinking about this story of this very wealthy man who'd unfortunately fallen from an aeroplane. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, clearly a much worse day than mine, but... <laughs> but as he fell to earth, the force of the wind stripped him of, of, of everything. His, his crocodile wallet, his gold watch, his Italian shoes, designer suit, all of it, gone. And his, he finally... He hit the earth, and they found him all but naked in a field. He was... He, he was smiling. And I, I never understood why, and I think finally I... I do understand now. Yes? Oh, the possessions, the belongings, the responsibilities. You know, maybe they tied him down to a, to, to a life that wasn't truly him. You know? Maybe in those last few moments, those, those last few moments, he felt... free, you know? To totally free. You know what I mean? And how about you? Are you... free? I think I have some pain to walk through. But maybe I am. Maybe I am. I mean, after I've got nothing, nothing, nothing left, left to lose. To lose. <laughs> exactly right. It, it, it kind of gets easier in some crazy way. But you have you. Thank you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I'm glad. So am I. Merry Christmas, Martin. Merry Christmas, Emmeline. I'm glad you're here. You know, I bought this, um, from Norman. You think he might have wanted you to open it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So sweet, though. Oh, bless him, look what he did. Dearest Martin, you're the winner. The son I never... What does he mean, I'm the winner? Did, did, does he mean what I think he means? Look, look, take a look. Please, here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you, you won. Wait, wait. We, we won. It's the winning ticket. You won.
No. Thank you. Waiting to be kissed Now I can show you all the love you missed It's time 